the story you all have been waiting for. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> have been asking me to tell this story or to release the video that I told I did the story time on which one is it about to get your story straight <laughs> okay so I'm gonna explain all of that and tell you guys the story in this video so if you're interested then keep on watching girl and if you guys want to see more story times then you can go ahead and subscribe it is free to join I was too lazy to do anything with my hair so I just washed it and then let it air dry so it looks like hello here and then it's like hello <laughs> And here it's like, wow! So don't mind that. Okay. Now, some of you guys might not know what I'm talking about, so I'm gonna throw in clips to show you guys so that if you don't know what I'm talking about, that it can all make sense. Oh, kind. Basically, there's a creepy ass guy. Okay, that's basically the story. The end. Just kidding. So, Austin eyes Austin and I have a boyfriend. His name's Austin. <laughs> And it was our anniversary. We decided to book a hotel room. I decided to go there beforehand when he was at work and film some content, a taste test, a uh, vlog, uh, some OF stuff, um, TikTok, like uh, just a bunch of content. I was like, take advantage of this room, right? Like it's a good room. Then this happened. And then I filmed the story time there at this hotel. So why wouldn't I just upload that story, right? I said that I was filming a story time. I did film a story time. So why wouldn't I just upload that? I sat down to uh, edit the story time. I'm like, where's the story time, girl? Where's the story time? I'm looking, I'm going through all of my memory cards, even though I know it's on this one, right? Because I know which ones I switched to. It's nowhere. Where is it? I accidentally deleted the story time clips while vlogging after that the fact obviously i just accidentally deleted them i'm an idiot okay so all these conspiracies are like why aren't you posting it what happened are you not allowed to post it is it not real did it did it not really happen are you embarrassed are you gonna get called out no i deleted the clips okay <laughs> like an, like an idiot i'm just gonna angle this down because i feel like i'm like like trying to like get oh there we go that's way better but then you can't see the kitty we'll, we'll just put the kitties here so you guys i'm just an idiot i deleted the clips by accident like i accidentally deleted the clips <laughs> Oh, there. They look sad. Oh, well. so that's all it is. I accidentally deleted the clips and then I was like, oh, whatever. You know what? Whatever. I'll repeat that story time. Whatever. So a month goes by. People start questioning like, where's the story time that you promised us? And then I'm like, I was like, whatever. I'm like, just it was like one person that started it and then you know one person tells another person tells another person and then it starts in this whole thing and it's a conspiracy of why I'm not why so <laughs> that's why I am an idiot I accidentally just deleted it but I have a memory and I can tell you guys the story now and thankfully because I didn't delete the um taste test clips because they're on the internet and that vlog because it's on the internet I have those to show you what happened I'm so happy I have those clips I can just refilm it, okay? So sorry for that whole backstory there to get to this story. Um, people just really were curious and like wondering why I didn't post it. So Austin and I booked a hotel and I had a bunch of, I got to the hotel and I had a bunch of bags to carry in. I made it. I have so many bags. Actually, I don't. I just got this one, my purse, the ring light. Oh my God, taste test bag and my overnight bag. I can carry it all right. But I was like, you know what? I'll make it in one trip. It's totally fine. So I'm like vlogging in the car, talking to you guys. As I'm doing that, there is somebody parked um, like farther, like far away. Um, and they're out of their car on their cell phone. And they're like looking at me, which is fine. You know, like whatever, um, whatever. They're looking at me. And it's a male. And it's a tall male wearing a baseball hat. Backwards. Just kidding. <laughs> Anyway, he stood there like staring like kind of like, looking and like, you know, like he's on a cell phone I was like, he's you know, I do that like if I'm on the phone I'm like I walk all the way up the stairs of my house. I'm on my phone So I was like whatever but I said it in the vlog and then he pulled around He literally got in his car. So there was lots of open spaces in the parking lot He pulls out of that spot and literally pulls in directly in front of me like dir like dr or across sorry across from me so there's like a big pillar or whatever you call it i don't know with like trees or flowers or shit or whatever <laughs> he's parked like across from there but like like 
directly across and he's literally just staring he's not on the phone anymore he got off the phone well i don't know if he's on like bluetooth speakerphone i don't know i'm not in his car don't want to be in his car anywhere near him but he's there and he's just staring i don't need a trolley or anything what's that guy doing he like got out of his car and he like went sat right back home but he's just like staring okay he like moved his car now he's like pointing it's a little awkward i think i'm just gonna go in okay um I'm just gonna go in, check in, and get ready! So I'm like a little like weirded out, and then I'm thinking like he just did this cause I, cause to look at me. <laughs> Austin and I's anniversary. This guy's like, like moved his position of his car just to stare at me. I mean, not, probably not just like, oh my God, I'm being over dramatic. Okay, I'm just gonna go in there, it's a good day. But I mean, he very well could have just, you know, been like, no, I wanted this spot or something. But at the same time, looking back on what ha everything had happened, I feel like he was just a creep and like literally was trying to just stare at me. I swear, like this, like, he's just a creep. And you know what, there's some, there's some creeps in the world. There's lots of creeps in the world and we need to call them out. And we need to band together and punch the creeps. <laughs> Holy. I'm vlogging. I like kind of just ignore it, right? Ignore it. Just like stop like putting my attention to it. Ignore it. So I do and I'm like, how am I going to carry all these bags? And now I'm like, I really have to carry all these bags at once in, into the, because I'm not making another trip. I'm not doing that. He's out of his car now. I didn't see where he went. I'm not like, I'm not staring at him. So I don't care. Right? So I'm like, yes, here's my time. Like, here's my time. Go, go, go. So I get out of the car and I grab all my bags. I obviously look around, please. Like, I'm joking, laughing at the situation and the scenario. The situation, the scenario um, could have been, um, you know, anything could have been worse. Things are, but it's meant to be taken seriously is what I'm trying to say. It's meant to be taken seriously. It is. Um, it is a serious manner and it is a good thing that I am telling this story even if it is two months later. It doesn't matter when, even if it was a year later. It's a good thing that this story is going up on the internet. I've done a story similar to creepy guys before and I feel like it is an important thing to do is to um, inform people of, you know, to be safe and like people in the comments can like uh, comment together like uh, what you should have done, what you should do. Um, it's really helped me actually, actually in this situation, which I will get into because the last story time I posted, um, I listened to your guys and did a lot of the things that you guys said. So it's a really positive thing to and like talk about it and bring it up and bring creeps in light. Um, anyways, so I just wanted to say that that's like what if I'm laughing, I'm, I'm like telling a story and I'm like punching a creep like the, to me, that's funny. But like in actuality and re reality, the story is like serious, you know, you know what I'm trying to, you know me. So I'm like, here's my chance. So I get everything I have like. Anyways, a bunch of stuff, like I said. So I grab it all, close my car door. I'm like, I, I'm like literally like a magician. I'm like, I'm like twisting my arms around, going like this, clicking my car door shut. Uh, I'm feeling like, woohoo, why didn't I just bring a roll along suitcase? Cause this would have been a lot easier. I have like all bags and a ring light. Like it's so difficult. And I'm in a corset, so I'm like, <laughs> like I can't breathe. Get my car door shut and locked. I start walking. I notice that he is outside smoking. It is a well, like it's, I was gonna say well lit area. It is daytime. There are lots of people around he's right beside the front doors so I feel safe enough I feel so always know your surroundings and what your comfortability is I felt comfortable enough like he was just staring right like nothing had happened as of yet so I was like whatever whatever so I just start walking with all these bags as I'm walking he literally shouts across the parking lot um there's another person smoking but i don't think that they were together he shouts across the parking lot Ooh, girl I should have got you to bring in my bags you're really strong with those pipes Woo! look at you go First of all, I am struggling. Second of all, I am not strong. Third, I am not carrying anyone else's bags. I, I don't even want to be carrying my bag. Whatever, right? So I just ignore it, okay? I listen to you guys. I usually don't. I usually am like, ah, like I say something, right? I ignored. So I kept walking. Then I feel like I dropped something because I have so many things. So I'm, again, like I'm getting closer, right? I feel like I dropped something. So I turn around. I turn around and I look and there was no, I didn't drop anything. I'm, I, maybe I did, <laughs> maybe I did. When I do, the, you know, my body is turned, turns back and he goes, oh, and she's got ass. Ooh, or damn, or ooh, or something like that at the end. It was like, ooh, it was like a high pitch, ooh, or <laughs> like, ew. First of all, thank you so much for the compliment. B, I know. C, go away. Bye. <laughs> I just was like grossed out now. Like I realize now that he's like, like this is like confirmed, creep, disgust, um, stranger, stranger danger, just continue on. I literally take two steps, my taste test, because I went there to do the taste test, my taste test bag breaks. Oh, my taste test bag broke as I was bringing it up. <laughs> 
It breaks. He immediately butts his cigarette, comes walking towards me, goes, hey, let me help you with those, beautiful. And I said, please don't, please don't come near me. I don't need help and leave me alone is what I said. And I said it like that. And I said it like that. And that was for, for you guys because I, you guys always tell me I'm too nice. Just tell people no, just like, you know, stand your ground, be like, no, fuck off. Like, just like tell people no. So literally I was like, no, I don't, I did need help. Like I would have loved for him to help me. Just kidding. The bag, like the handle broke. I just grabbed it like this and I just went into the check-in. I was like right at the check-in door or right in the, the front door. So I was right there. So it, it, it like, I was, I was almost to the room. And when I did that and I said, leave me alone and I was like not joking not funny not laughing not anything I was like mean he said feisty I like it whatever so I go in check in so I go in I check in have no problems really nice hotel staff really nice um I'm on my way to the elevators I look behind just to like you know make sure you know checking surroundings and he is checking in or like talking to the he's probably checking in or something like that maybe talking I don't know whatever so then I make sure to just get an elevator and go up so I go up whatever I get into my room perfectly fine everything's good and grand let's fast forward to the story time Oh, sorry, the taste test. I am filming my taste test video that you guys saw. Um, and I am in the middle of, or about to try a Mars drink, like a Mars bar drink. Um, and this, I'll just, I'll show you the clip. Mars drink! Ah! I've always like... I hear like talking. I'm doing a story time after this on what's happening weird in this hotel room right now. But we're not letting it get us down. So first of all, I heard somebody talking and I swear to God, I heard, hey, pretty lady, hey. That's honestly, I swear to God what I thought I heard. I can't be like for sure, like 100, 100%, but that is, that's why I stopped because I thought I heard, hey, pretty lady, hey, pretty lady. And then the knock on the door and I was like, so I just like sat there, sat there and then nothing. I continued on with my taste test and I just like was like this guy's a creep I'm, I'm, I'm in my I don't know I'm in my hotel Austin's gonna be here right away like it's good he's gonna be here right away it's fine just don't let this ruin your day can I just say that editing this back and hearing the story like edit like hearing it from my voice um makes me think like how do how do I know for a fact it was him knocking on the door and how do I know for a fact it was him that did all of this in the hotel room like yes i had an interaction with him downstairs but how do i know it could have been somebody else it could have been anybody else it could have been somebody on my floor it could have been anybody else he's just knocking on the door maybe he's i honestly not trying to be like judgmental but i swear he was drunk like he was swaying back and forth he smelled like alcohol he was drunk um i'm locked in the hotel room if he started like breaking down the door or something like that i would immediately phone phone down to the desk he knocked he was a creep I'm going to move on with my night. You know, that's what I thought. Okay, move on. So, fast forward, Austin gets there. Okay, Austin gets there and I'm like, yay! I'm like looking for him and I'll show you. <laughs> he just pulled in. Yay! Yay, hey, I'm excited! Hi! 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 Oh my goodness! Those are for you. you. What's this? What is that? Okay. Let me take your bag. What is this? Oh my ah. god, this is this guy! Who? I'll tell you, just hold on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a story time right now. That's what I'm gonna do. So, it's our anniversary. He's bringing me flowers. Those are flowers that I'm like, said I was crunching. Um, I'm so excited. I'm like looking at the flowers. I'm flustered. I'm like excited he's there. I have so many things like to show him and set up. He picks up that note and he's like, what is this? And I'm like, Whoa. the only thing that I wish I would have um, not deleted the other story, because I filmed this story time in that room, um, in that hotel room, I showed that little note in the story time. So that's the only thing that I'm like, I wish I wouldn't have deleted the clips for that reason. But you can see it right there. You can see the note. What it said was, nice meeting you today, room number, and it said his room number. I'm obviously not going to say his room number, but I was like, Oh, that's what he said. So to Austin, it's our anniversary. There's a guy leaving me a note, giving me his room, um, saying it's nice to meet you today and all this. Do not know 
how he knew what room I was in. No, no idea. No clue. No idea at all. Hello, me editing again. Uh, maybe I'm jumping to conclusions here. It literally could have been anyone else. It could have been someone that just saw me in the hallway. Um, it could not have anything to do with that guy. I don't know, but maybe it did. Maybe it could. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it did. I don't know. There's no way to know. But um, I think maybe I was jumping to conclusions. What do you think? Because it could maybe not have been him at all knocking or talking or maybe it was just talking. There was talking outside the door. Um, maybe the note wasn't for me. Maybe it fell out of somebody's bag, right? Anyways, there, there's a lot of what ifs. So I can't just say it was that guy, right? Right? It could have been anyone. And just to be safe and precautious and keep your doors locked. Yes, if you're if you feel in danger, phone the front desk. And when you're alone, be precautious. So I'm like, oh my God, this is this guy. Like for sure, for sure, this is this guy. Before Austin actually got there, I like kept thinking about this and I was vlogging and I like, couldn't stop thinking about it. It was like kind of like dampering my mood a little bit. Crunch it. I'm trying to take off my mind of what just happened but like it's like creeping me out until Austin gets here. So anyways, but that's what I thought. Like just like, hey, like it's done. It's over with. So when he came and knocked on the door, that's when he probably, that's when he left the note. So I was like, this is finished there. This is where it stops. Obviously he's inviting me there. If I go there, it continues. So it has stopped now. So me and Austin um, film stuff together. Uh, I get ready for dinner. Um, he gets ready, um, I take some pic Instagram pictures, blah, 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 blah. I wish I had the paper. I wish I would have kept it, but like, why? Why would I keep that, right? Threw that shit right away in the garbage. Like, bye, bitch. And then we went for dinner, had a great night, and nothing else happened. Um, nothing else at all, at all. So that was the story. That was the entire story. Like, leave somebody alone. If somebody says to you, le like, hello, leave me alone, leave them alone. Doesn't matter A, what they're wearing, what they look like, who they are, who they're with, what time of day it is, what they're doing, what they're carrying, whatever. If somebody does not want your attention and they vocalize that to you or in their body language, uh, body language show that to you, then leave them alone. Then go away. Go about your business. Go away. It's really not that difficult. I'm sorry that it did take this long for me to film this. I thought like the clips are gone, so it's just the 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 story's gone. You guys really wanted to hear the story, and I do feel like yes, it is really important for you guys to hear it. Because I had a friend once that would like never look at surroundings ever. Like would just like come out of their car and just like walk like this or on their phone or like have headphones in. Like um, it's just good to just know your surroundings. That's it. Watch out for creeps. Stand your ground, girl. And girl. Oh, ew, boy bye, like boy bye, like you don't, don't be afraid to be like bye. <laughs> and be careful when traveling alone anywhere, even getting groceries. I hope you guys have a good day and uh, enjoyed this story time and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!